Doug and welcome to day five of the 30-day technique tune-up challenge. Super excited that you're here. As you obviously discovered, today's lesson is once again inspired by Eddie Van Halen. We're basically taking a tapped dominant seven arpeggio and placing it in a 12-bar blues. All right, the arpeggio itself, the one is the open string, the three is placed at the fourth fret, the five is placed at the seventh fret, and the flat seven is at the 10th fret, and then the octave is obviously well at the 12th fret. So basically the sequence for set arpeggio, which we're basically gonna cut and paste to the respective open string, that is to say when it's A, we're using it on the open A string, D open D string, E open E string. The sequence for the arpeggios is the same. It's gonna be flat seven, three, five, octave three, five, flat seven, three, five, octave three, five, flat seven, one, three, five, if you're doing your math there, you're going to discover that is four groups of three notes and one group of four notes. Three times four is 12, plus four is 16. These are basically 16 sixteenth notes. So here's the first sequence. Second sequence. Third sequence. Fourth sequence. Fifth sequence. All together. And you just cut and paste that to the respective open string. Awesome. Let's walk our way through the technique tips. All right. In terms of the technique here, they're called double hammer ons, but technically what we're doing is we're doing a hammer, pull, hammer. And we're doing that four times. And then the last one is a hammer, pull, hammer, hammer. Now I suggest taking just the A string there and using the subdivision method as follows. <laughs> Then I would also suggest targeting and isolating the last little sequence that is the hammer, pull, hammer, hammer, and just moving back and forth between the A string and the D string, the A string and the E string using the subdivision method as follows. Awesome. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.